this. Okay, so what, I first already. of all, is this whole article fake? Here, explain to me. This is interesting. So. Fucking Watch dickhead, it. dude. Watch it. <laughs> what am I supposed to take from this? Yeah, we'll just watch the liar shit. That video cut a shit. Oh, three and a half minutes. Oh my god. Oh, it's not that long. <laughs> Do you like how Destiny was like, oh god, three and a half minutes? <laughs> <laughs> this dude watched the entirety of the goddamn Miss Kip train debacle, and that was a multiple hour long call. <laughs> Yo, you're not supposed to say that. I know it's not reasonable, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Do you think Stephen Crowder, soon to be ex-wife, will go for every penny she can get? Do you think Stephen Crowder, soon to be ex-wife, will go for every penny she can get? Is he emotionally? I have no idea, dude. I don't know anything about his ex-wife. I don't know anything about their marriage. I don't know how many assets uh, Crowder has. I don't know anything about them. I have no <coughs> idea. Maybe, maybe not. Mom says it's okay. Give it an Uber. Okay, Stephen, I can't. Feeling some constraints? Steven. Like, I can't Steven. go. He's, He's a listening. fucking listening. actual piece of shit, dude. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're gonna take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back when I'm back. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. You're right either. Dude. I, I understand the difference between being he sounds like and such a fucking baby. Okay, so it, first of all, why do they only... Look at this house. Okay? Why do they only have one car? It sounds like they have one car. Why? You're okay, not taking the number car. One, number two, how long is she leaving for? Getting she's Uber to pick up like the groceries. Two day road trip? And he's not going to have a car? Like, what's going on here? I'm so confused. Only way out of this is discipline respect. It's the only way out of this, then we're at an impasse. We are at an impasse. Good. Because you can't have any discipline respect. Yeah. Dude, she's fucking pregnant. There you go. You throw your hand, you give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You don't need Stephen. You give up so easily. I, I just said the only way out of this is discipline respect. You said, then we're at an impasse. Stephen, no, we are at an impasse. Okay? I love you, but Stephen, Stephen, you're a beast. He's sick. He's Watch sick. it. Sick. Watch it. He's such a dude. Watch it, yeah, okay. I'm gonna let go. I'll get what you need it's literally I, I sounding like he's about ready to just go up and beat the shit out of her. <laughs> is like how he sounds. Like I doubt that's what he's gonna do, but god I, damn. Bro, wait, wait, what he just said. I know. Isn't it sound like that? It's like he's about to fucking start throwing haymakers. I've never received love from you, and the fact is, when I go, look, I need you A, B, C, and D, just to be just put out, you know. No. But I love you more than life itself. Dude, okay. so... Put on some gloves. No. Fucking... Put on some gloves. It's not fair. It's not Man. fair, and it's disingenuous. Hillary, you're right. We're in the past. Become someone. Let's see, Nick. This is like the way he's, like, talking to her. It's like. A wife worth? No, not as a wife. I didn't he's... say as a wife. He's... If they cancel him over this, I mean, I'm not going to be that, like, shocked. I'm already not, I'm already not going to be upset, like, I, I don't give that much of a fuck. I'm not a crowd of cocksucker. This where he goes ham. Are you committed to those things? You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you and committed to that. Walk the dogs front and bus. Walk the dogs front and bus. Are you committed to Are you committed enough to Are you committed enough to Fucking... She filed for a divorce. Man, I fucking wonder why. Are you committed enough to get the medication the dogs 
Oh, why did he click? I hate it? judging. I hate evaluating like fights from like, or I hate evaluating relationships from single fights. Um, I don't. I, there, honest to God, I just don't have enough information to make any <coughs> statement about this. It could be the case, for instance, that um, I mean, obviously, Shinobi's not gonna fuck you up to a partner. Like uh, for this particular clip, it could be the fuck case you that um, he's just being like an, amu an, an abusive piece of emperor. shit. Um, it could be that he's like trying to keep her from going anywhere. He's trying to lock her in the house, etc. Like that, those could all be things for sure. Um, however, uh, it could <coughs> also be the case that she's like an ultra super lazy f that does nothing around the house ever, and he's getting tired <coughs> of it. That could be the case too. Um, I have no idea. It's she's fucking pregnant. Um, I'm sitting here jerk off about how evil and horrible somebody is, but like, <laughs> bro, like, destiny. Like, chat just said she's pregnant. To evaluate like relationship status from a fight. Go walk this off, put on some gloves. He's acting like a child? You don't know that? You have no idea though, you don't know. Like, what if it is, theoretically, it could be the case, it could be the case that he just got home and, and is chilling after recording like a second or third episode from the day and found out that like everything in the house is in disarray or f And maybe they've got a maid and she's got like two responsibilities and she hasn't even done that. It could be the case, right? Um, it could also be the case that he's just like walking around the house and he's lazy and does nothing. He thinks that since she has a job, he can boss her around all day to do whatever he wants. That could be the case too. But we just don't know. We, d we don't have any, we have no context. But she's eight months pregnant? Who the f cares? What does that have to do with anything? What? <laughs> it's Heard COVID times, me. so he was working from home. Yeah, I have no idea. I just, I need more. Question mark, yeah, question I, just, mark. I, I need more, um, I, I, I need more context, I guess. But he doesn't mention anything like that. Neither of them mention anything. They have no idea. Would you expect your wife to walk the dogs and do housework that pregnant? Rachel worked up until like, I think three days before she gave birth. There were two other women. Um, fuck, one? I don't remember their names. But they also worked like a few days up until they gave birth. Yeah. That's, I think that's probably normal, I think. Mm -hmm. I know that a lot of people think that like pregnant women can't do anything and they basically spend the last two months like bedridden, unable to move, but that's not true. Or at least in my life, every pregnant woman I've known has fucking bossed that shit right up to fucking delivery, basically. Um, typically they, they work, they do things, whatever. They might be a little you bit more irritable. No fault divorce um, in the US provides a it might be that they're, yes. Um, it might be that their feet get sore or their ankles can get swollen or they could definitely be moody or hormonal, like those things happen too. But it's not like a woman in like the last month of pregnancy is like uh, some bedridden fucking worthless can't do anything, right? There's just like some extra shit that you have to do. And also you should also generally be, um, you should generally be nicer and more patient with pregnant women, of course, but. Destiny, you'd be received much better if you just articulate <coughs> all that you said and then say something. However, just in this clip, it seems pretty fucked. Chat wouldn't get so full where you're No, I'm not gonna say however just in this clip. I don't know. I would never, ever, 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 ever judge a relationship. There are so many fights I've had for my relationships where you can make either me or my partner look insane if you're just gonna clip like three minutes out of one fight we've had like i can find tons of insane shit um no i think i would never i don't think i would ever judge a relationship based on like a two or three minute recorded fight that's being like i need way more background you wanted her to give their dog some medication she thought might be toxic to her and the baby okay but like <laughs> That statement in and of itself could mean like 30 things, right? Like, is it so toxic that like if she touches it, the baby's gonna die? Is that true? I doubt it. Or is it a medication that like if handled in copious amounts might lead to some birth to blah, 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 right? That's why like, can she wear gloves? But again, I don't know. It might be an unreasonable ask from him. Um, I can't have this guy. Oh, dude, I'm getting, oh God. <laughs> Destiny's getting so true now, dude. Like, Makes me want to quit streaming because <laughs> the audiences are so Half fucking of retarded. Still virgins. I don't um, want to hear their take. I like, I, I like, you, I, like, I, I guess I'll say it. Maybe there's a lot of young people here are retarded ass me fucks here. Like, the reality is, is that I'll tell you this. This is just like a life fact. This is just, I don't, I don't know how else to tell you other than you'll learn when you get older. You cannot judge a relationship based on a three or four minute fight. If you think you can, it's because you're retarded. Full stop. <laughs> That's it. You just can't. You can't. You no Destiny. Idea. That is so not nice. Fights, once you get more information, you're like, oh, you can't shit. See that. Okay, I understand this. Or, wow, fucking crazy. I'm like, oh, okay. This makes sense why this person did that. Like, you can't, you can never, ever, ever, on like a two, three, four minute thing, just evaluate on, on shit like this. Like, you just, you can't do it.
remember that scene. Most of these morons were primed by Hassan. Oh, sure. Well, in that case, I'll give you Hassan's take. Oh, well, Steven Crowder is a conservative, and here you can see them living their real values, <laughs> keeping their wives locked up at home and miserable all day, even though she's pregnant. He's making her do all these f things. Ah! And Steven Crowder's evil because he's a conservative. There you go. That's your, your Hassan take, okay? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty awesome. As long as we that's don't see accurate. him beating his wife, we can't make any judgments. Yep, that's what I said. See you later. Forever. Never, ever, ever Bam. unban. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I actually made a bad judgment once. That is true. I saw that video of, um... I saw that video of DJ Academics in the lobby. I thought he was hitting a woman. That shit was... That clip was wild to me. I remember seeing this clip initially, and I thought it looked pretty... I think it looked pretty insane for Big Egg. But apparently the full story, and you can definitely see it born out here, was that... I think he came out of a show with that girl with the red hair, and this is his current, or his was girlfriend. She jumped this chick to fight her. <laughs> he had to, he had to pull her off. Basically, like, bro, we're in Miami. We're not doing that hood shit here. Fuck off. And that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to. So in that context, like, oh, okay, this makes way more sense. And you can even see, as soon as he disengages here, she's ready to go back at it. And she goes to smack her again, yeah. So like, yeah, so I, so initially when I saw this clip, I was like, damn, bro, you can't be, you can't like have a girl against a wall, fuck screaming at her like that in a hotel, you're crazy. But then getting the more context, like, oh, okay, yeah. Not to say that anything is necessarily good or bad, but I'm just saying like, holy shit, more context can completely change the, the, the way that you view a fight. I just don't understand why you're being so charitable to a guy who literally thinks women are second-class citizens. No shit, he is going to treat her like trash and force her to do chores while sitting and smoking in front of her. <laughs> Because you're a fucking retard. It doesn't matter as being charitable. Oh my you're God. only charitable to the people that you would suck. Do you understand that? You don't get fucking points for being charitable to your parents, to your siblings, or to your fucking friends. That's just called being a normal human being. Being charitable to somebody usually implies that you're going above and beyond to be objective and to try to be fair to a person that you might otherwise not be incentivized to be fair to. You don't get bonus points for being charitable to people that you like. Obviously, I don't like Steven Crowder, and it wouldn't surprise me if more context reveals that he is an abusive piece of shit. That could be the case, but that's, uh, there's not enough here to say it. There's not enough here to say it. There, I can think of 50 million situations that would explain why he's acting the way that he is here. It happened with Pokemon, it happened with Amaranth, where more Pokemon. information could come out and completely 180 your view on things. He did that on purpose, I swear. I'm not saying that Crowder's in the right, I'm just saying you don't have enough information. You, you know what we should do? Wait, is this movie public domain? We should just watch this movie. Where is this guy? Twelve angry men. Is this is this public domain yet? It is public domain. All I'm saying is it's possible. All I'm saying is it's possible. Man. Why do you think they only have one car? I really don't understand that given how loaded he is. They might only have one car because he's an abusive piece of shit that tries to isolate his wife from everybody else and keep her locked in the house. Or they might only have one car because they have two cars and the other car's in the shop. I don't know, do you? You probably don't, don't know either. I don't fucking know, dude. You read the article yet? No, you. He's getting so mad. Okay. Conservative media host and commentator Steven no, Crowder, yeah, what the fuck? Seen dude, he's like exceptionally mad right now. Hillary who was at the time nearly eight months pregnant and demanding that she handle medicine for his dogs that she was concerned was toxic to pregnant women. In the video, he snaps at her to put on her gloves to give his dogs medicine, walk the dogs, and otherwise perform wifely duties as she is clearly emotionally distressed. Perform wifely duties, she blah, blah. Towards the end of the exchange, Hillary Crowder says to her husband, your abuse is sick. He snaps at her saying, watch it, watch it. Moments later, off camera, Stephen Crowder, by his own admission, would lose control and scream at his pregnant wife in a threatening tone. I will f*** you up. Which led to to his, which led his wife to flee their home. In a statement sent to me by Hillary Crowder's family, they say that she spent years hiding her husband's mental and emotional abuse from her family, that he lied about the circumstances around the divorce, and that he wasn't present for the birth of their children. Documentary evidence I reviewed while reporting this story backs up their assertions. The statement in its entirety is printed later on in the story. The ring camera footage documenting the moments leading up to the moment where Stephen Crowder said, I will f*** up. Something that was at the pinnacle of aggressiveness in their marriage, but was also part of a pattern of emotional abuse is posted in full at the top of this post in detail later on. Why didn't they include footage of that? Why would you... Destiny is never this charitable to trans people? I'm... <laughs> oh my fucking... Oh no. Probably a bit. He's about to have a fucking stroke, dude. Just don't even say anything, Destiny. Just... 
Look at the chat. <laughs> oh no. They you know. know why I want to get on gear? It's because I just want to go to the gym twice a day. That's all I want to do. I just want to go to the gym and pump iron all day long. <laughs> what? You know what? I don't want to get on gear. It's better than you and cucks in my chat. Nobody one guys me at the gym ever. Death me on steroids. Okay. Let's go. Neither Hillary nor Steven Crowder is contending that there was physical abuse in their marriage or sexual infidelity. And in oh, audio man. files and text messages I reviewed, Steven Crowder admits to some of his faults, which include a volcanic temper repeatedly and at times regretfully. But according to sources I spoke to who are familiar with their relationship, Stephen Crowder's admission often came after a sustained period of mental and emotional abuse, and he didn't seem to be able to control his impulses. This story is based on conversations with multiple sources, none of whom would speak to me unless they were granted anonymity. I also reviewed text messages, extensive audio files, and personal videos documenting the, documenting the Crowder's marriage. Hillary Crowder was not available for comment or conversation with me on more confidential terms. Two messages sent to Stephen Crowder via his website requesting comment have yet to be replied to by the time the story is published. If he does reply or comment publicly about the details posted here, this story will be updated accordingly. Crowders are married in 2012 after dating for two years and being engaged for less than a year. Hillary Crowder, Crowder filed for divorce in December of 2021 after she learned that her husband had hired a divorce attorney a month earlier. Hillary Crowder welcomed the twins via C-section in August of 2021. Despite her best efforts, her husband was absent when their twins were born. Instead, he met their newborn twins later that day at the hospital. The night before she gave birth, Stephen and Hillary exchanged a series of text messages about separating. Hillary sent her husband one of the final text messages. Stephen, I'm afraid of you and your rage. You're scary. You scare me. I want to heal things, but you have to take responsibility. Stop blaming others. Stop feeling pain and sadness only for yourself. In the past weeks, rumors of their divorce, which the press had not discovered for over a year, began to spread on Twitter. On Tuesday... Steven Crowder briefly spoke about the news on his popular show, Louder with Crowder. Crowder said, we watched this. Crowder bemoaned Texas's no-fault divorce law several times in his statement. No-fault divorce laws allow either party in a marriage to get divorced without requiring a cause like abuse or infidelity. It wasn't the first time Crowder had talked about his disgust for such laws. What Crowder didn't mention was that his very private wife, who hardly appears at public events and is rarely photographed, had made a request via her attorneys that her husband had not discussed their divorce at all. Steven Crowder dismissed that request and spoke about the divorce and their marriage for about five minutes in a clip that went viral. In a statement sent to me via email, Hillary Crowder's, Crowder's family said, Hillary is currently living alone in Dallas, apart from her family and support system in Michigan, and is focused on taking care of her young children. She's not prepared at this time to speak about her divorce, coming public, or the misleading statements made by Steven about their relationship. The truth is that Hillary spent years hiding Stephen's mentally and emotionally abusive behavior from her friends and family while she attempted to save their marriage. She was the one who was asking to work on their relationship to keep the marriage intact for their unborn children. In June of 2021, Stephen left their home to pursue elective surgery. Hillary urged him to get the help he needed to address his abuse with the hope that their family could be saved and they could peacefully live together as a family. Instead, Stephen refused to do so. No, 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 no. Boring. In the ring camera video, which is captured in Boring. <laughs> Stephen Crowder's injuries, he sits at the patio smoking. And Hillary Crowder's in a state of motion. She prefers to leave the house. Stephen Crowder insists Hillary not take their one car to run errands and <laughs> keep him housebound in the she. And nearly eight months pregnant, should take an Uber. He also writes for not doing her wifely duties. <laughs> this is just summarizing the video. In the review of audio, video, and text, Stephen Crowder repeatedly admits he has a volcanic temperature at one point, and the audio files are reviewed. Wait, is this a fake article? Is this whole article fake? Here, explain to me. This is interesting. So, we have a three and a half minute video. I believe the video is real. We have a three and a half minute video. What, what do you guys want? Okay, we have a three and a half video, three and a half minute video. But then we've got this person talking over and over again. How about they they revealed text messages? They've got audio. They've got video, audio files, text messages. I reviewed. I also reviewed text messages, extensive audio files, and personal videos documenting Crowder's marriage. Um, we've exchanged a series of text messages about separating. More te like in a review of audio, video, and text messages. Stephen Crowder also admits he's a volcanic temper. Why are they referencing these text messages so many times? And the article includes none of it. All I have is this one video up here. Why there's nothing, and then this whole last part of this is just about um, like his louder with Crowder show, and then the Daily Wire thing. Like so many things in his life in recent years, Crowder's temper and paranoia led him to destroy his relationship with Shapiro, Boring, and others at the Daily Wire. When he posted via Daily Wire, responded that they couldn't compensate him the initial contract. Then he recorded a call, an interview with Michael Malice, Crowder's former co-host Daily News said that Crowder would regularly tip calls people that were knowing. Like this has nothing to do with any of this.
In reviewing documentary evidence related to their marriage, Steven Crowder appears obsessed with the idea that his wife is only interested in for money. Hillary Crowder started dating him well before he was free, like, they can, so they can release more stuff in new articles? Yeah, I guess. But this is such a, it's such a strange, the author, does the author have to reveal everything? Could there be a reason to hold back some things? You understand how weird it is to say that like, to reference over and over again, um, I've reviewed audio files, text messages, videos, audio files, text we'll messages, extensive nothing. audio files. Where are they? Why would you not link or source any of it? Why would you not play any of it? Why is it just the one video? That's so weird. This article is dog shit, but I don't know. He might be a piece of shit too. Probably because it will reveal the source so they are no longer anonymous. Yeah, but the, I mean, wait, what do you, that doesn't even make sense. We'll, we'll reveal the source. If you're saying you have extensive audio files, well, what the source is probably what, like three or four people? Like how many people could that be? You're already basically, I don't know. There's, it just seems, it seems weird for them to allude to text messages, audio files, personal videos over and over and over and over again, and then not source. Next. <laughs> Fuck out that for me. Gold represents the spirit of prosperity and security. Its universal global demand is superior. Apparently the full game is out now. I didn't realize it was coming out so soon. I would have just waited for my last episode then if I knew it was this fucking out. Games. But it just dropped. Fucking and games. I've done two videos on Amanda <laughs> so now. So, so why not play the full game? Get it out of the way. Let's do it. I'm excited to see what it's actually about finally. Dear Riley, if you're reading this, it means you won't see me again. Unless it's in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how, how much time I have, and there's still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath to you. Jesus, that thing's creepy. Ends that's ends going after you. What a good bequeath. Yeah. This I next think part that's may the be a main mistake, and God I don't forgive even me know. if it is. When you settle in, there's something Ooh, in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for this for game. Tape. But no, that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay safe <clears> with <throat> you out. And See, I would just think that it's a really good, like, home video of just mom and dad going at it. <laughs> what, what would you actually think was, was on that tape? Other than, oh, it's a murder plot to kill me. Oh, my God. Why is the sensitivity to these videos? How sensitive are you? Oh, about as much as a... Uh, uh, who's sensitive? Teenagers? <laughs> me in my 20s? Oh, you're new? Okay, what's what's changed? So we had this before. We couldn't do anything with it though, because when we watched the tape, Amanda just came out of this and got all mad at me. But now we actually have stuff that we can do. Now we can actually escape out of here. I guess I'm. This is a horror game. Yes. Granny didn't tell me that. Is that a cool song. You like that? 3.45 a.m., mm, mm, Hour mm, of the Demon? Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> oh, that's where I just was. Okay. Hi, Aunt Kate. Thank you so much for the... You guys can't even see me. I'm out of frame right now. Thanks so much for the roller skates. Dad and I went skating at the lake yesterday. He fell down. But don't tell him I told you that. I can't wait to see you at summer vacation. Love, Riley. Dear Mrs. Park, these are too far away to read. Can I do this? <laughs> Dear Miss Park, I know it's been a long time since you've been since you've seen me. I swear the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful for you to you for that. For being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again to trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just gone. My parents just were never the same. Gone. And they're just gone. gone. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts and eventually it killed them. Oh, they didn't poof. They they just straight up died. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street. That some crazy guy lured him away. A freak occurrence, you know? A regular old suburban tragedy. But I know there's something more to it. And I know you know it too. I thought I was alone. Nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard that the kind of research you do, that kind of normal people don't... Do I don't it. get what's going on, but if I'm like... Do you notice my mouse adjusting itself right now? It right now? I'm holding right it. Rip? Like, the cursor in the bottom middle uh, I think stopped adjusting. That, I was just moving is, the mouse that, itself, he, yeah, and it was like... Moving for a bit there. Right there. Yeah, I don't think I can like see your mouse. Uh, yeah. I'd find Jordan standing for the TV like he was in a trance. 
It was like a little girl. It's that little hourglass thingy. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe he just wants to land an adventure. Oh my god, that's horrifying. But also kind of cute. <laughs> what is that? Dude, this game is so okay, weird. Can I put... Ooh, hold on. <laughs> Some of these cutscenes are so funny. Mysteries are forming right before me. Can I put that in here? What the fuck is that thing? Uh, it's a Palantris, like I think is its name. Another technicality. Fuck you. Okay, let's just watch the damn tape. <laughs> We've seen these tapes so often now that it's going to be the same stuff. Can you go to the store? Yeah, how creepy does that game look, Dempsey? That'd be me, horror. Like, if I saw that as a kid, fuck it. <laughs> We're gonna make apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. That is like, fuck an asshole. Um, my favorite is lemon. Mm, that sounds delicious. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, I'd love a lemon tart right now, though. A chainsaw. We can't use that. A chainsaw. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, you type in chain. your responses, but yeah, we there's ones it wants, and then there's secret ones you can put in, and then the ones that <laughs> wrong that as you see seem to annoy you so slightly. This, you already. this was in the last version of the game I played. That doesn't seem safe. Watch out, Wooly. She'll okay, shoot you. <laughs> Okay, Wooly. We have almost Asshole. everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Mm. Why don't I just put my it's finger in it since I'm so sugar? sweet already? Why did I lose 10 seconds to the text the shit? Whatever. Put me in the sink. That's where I keep really? it. Yeah. Also, I'm sick right now. I picked up a cold when I was in America. That happens every time. America's full of disease. So if I'm not the highest of energies, that's why. Nope. Try again. See, can now you for the the one RNG element ASMR. of this entire game. Hmm. Is it in the fridge? Don't you want to help me? Yeah. This is the pantry. It's gonna either go really There's well or really fun. bad, but I think they actually nerfed like this guy, so you hey. can like actually have a chance hey, of winning. Sure. Mm. Mm, it was basically if. If you go first, you can win every single time, but bef one, uh, but if uh, he goes first on the old thing, it was basically a guaranteed, like, loss. Hmm. Two? Okay. Like, yeah, that wouldn't have been something that would have happened. Uh. Like, it, if it goes first, you were basically going to tie. Three. 425 for 40. Got it. Our pie is ready. Nice. Pizza pie. Pizza pie. Oh, nice. Let's have some pie. That oven has eyes. Four. Is that oven alive? <coughs> oh. I dropped the tape. Actually, I'll keep the ones I've watched. Yeah, that was really good, RNG. Okay, he only we went once, well. once, but First, since he's dumber than he was on Game Maker, I don't even think it actually degrees. matters. There we go. Next. Put the apples in our tin. <laughs> uh, apple. Go in. Okay. 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 We're gonna play it like that, huh? This is a disgusting tin. Disgusting tin. There he is. And then. What? What did I do wrong? You told me to prep it for 425. Does it put 40 minutes on it now? You're telling me things out of sequence. Oh my god. Just go in the tin. Just go in the tin. I mean, technically. Take that one. Whatever. Thank you, I you fucking Thank watched you. that a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> I got a tape for it. I did this already and I still forgot. <clears throat> Pie flavored. That's an Aztec movie reference. Wow. So hip and cool. 
Is this the butcher one? Hi, friend. I'm Amanda. Dude, Why this game. Really? <laughs> These look like TV shows that were on when I was a kid. Uh, the low crime rates, Amanda. That's great. <laughs> I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friends. Oh, go on. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? Um, no. Why is... What is this? Also, CBF are highlighted. I thought it was just the first letters, but clearly not. Is it the bakery? <laughs> That's not the store, oh. silly. What do I know? I'm just a child. It says store on it. I can't read. This show is for babies. I'm kind of in a hurry here. Oh, now they're crossed off. Can I... Amanda's going to kill someone, and it's going to be me. Or Wooly. It's like dead body outlines everywhere. Good job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! Ooh. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? New Blavitz? Only $1,500? Jesus Christ! That was the thing that was behind me, right? The little robot? Um... I don't know. It's not their birthday. Is it their whoopee cushion day? <laughs> Great! I found the perfect card. Time for the next errand. Woo! Friends do nice things. It's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get this cutscene right here is <laughs> also you was <laughs> skippable in the uh, the game maker me. version. Uh -huh. Because I could just hit the I that would be on the left side of the screen and just skip it entirely, but not possible anymore. They they do. Get them stamps to lick. Let's go get that tree. Creepy. Everything smells so good. I want to buy my friends some buy my friends some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? I didn't get to see all I of them. I want the like cookie jar. She was hanging here. She was down looking like she was puking into her own hands. What was Wooly doing? Is he safe? Is this a cookie? I don't think my friend will like that. Why not? Give your friend Wooly. Hmm. Whoa, her head's like shaking. I can't mail that to my friend. You gonna mail a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> is ready for my friend they live pretty far from me so we need to mail it wow it's getting late most of the stores are closed we probably can't send that now i have to send this to my friend it's time to go to the post office let's send this package to my friend their name is wait i don't remember whoa can you help me we can come back tomorrow you don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. That's Who so says creepy. Who me to go to? Uh, Sean. No, that's not my friend's name. I don't know your friend's name. Greg. <laughs> you have to know their name. I don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Kate. Great work. Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. That would have happened. That would have happened if I just put in any name, right? I didn't just guess Kate perfectly. Okay. I'm um, So that was new stuff. We'd never <laughs> seen that before. Gosh, you're so freaky. Um. Oh, right. What was it? Uh, corner store, bakery, office. <laughs> I'm so observant. Oh, I'm so observant. I figured it out. <laughs> you never figure it out the way I figure it out. Oh, it's you. Hey, Wooly. Whatever you do, don't. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Wooly had an accident. Oh no, Wooly fucked up.
fucked around and found out. <laughs> oh, no, Wally fucked around and found out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I had to watch the Jack Let's Play because Mark hasn't played this yet. Point on the doll where she hurt you. Also, what's going on in the back room? Was oh, those are the lights from the reflecting on the TV. I thought it was like alien Um, head. That part of Wooly looks fine. I keep trying to guess other things, like I could plow through this and just guess all the right things, but I keep trying to guess other things to see if it changes. Hurry up, he's hurt. That's right. Willie hurt I didn't type knee, knee. I typed eyes. You can help when you are hurting. Uh, Neosporin. I don't think they can help. Drugs. <laughs> uh, <aspirin>. Drugs. <laughs> Don't you want to help, Wooly? Oh, but no. no bitch. Now I just press J over and over again. That's for a doctor. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go in? Hmm. Find the right doctor to help Wooly. I okay, so 620. You should keep this in mind because I might have to change the clock to that. Uh heart doctor! I don't think that doctor can help Wooly. Mouth doctor! Willie's in a lot Also called a pain. dentist. Please help me get to the right doctor. Wooly, I think you're gonna die at the end of all of this. I'm sorry. That just seems like this oh. is where the story's Damn. going. Oh, nice. Come so on, fast. let's get Wooly fixed up. Nice. Amanda. Yeah. These really little creepy hard. smiles of hers. So, 620 and 1050? That won't help, Willie. There's your heart on the ground now. <laughs> what? What should we use? What is that? I don't know. I mean, obviously <laughs> the x ray, but I want to like poke at things. I couldn't also, that, play a game like this by myself. It, goes, like, it boom, was just a, and, like the white a, noise. A too too creepy. Creepy. Ah, it's not even artifact. like that. It's just like. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, I would need to. Uh -oh, this isn't a game I would play by myself. But like having someone play it or playing with or watching it's like makes it absolutely it's like fun. Follow us to fun. I don't think oh. I will. Um. So let's see. How do I change it? Let's see if 620 works first. No? Or isn't it 2250? Okay, There's multiple times given. That means they align uh, perfectly together. This is what I would do. 1050. Or did you mean 1050? Because hmm. there's a 10 over here. That's what you meant. Did I change this one? What if I change you to 620 then? <laughs> or they go this way. Hopefully this works, because some points I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, thank God! Nice. I thought I Is lost it. You're not doing anything though. Unless I have to switch it back to the actual 1050. Yes, good. Not the weird 1050 that I have. Okay, I don't have that yet. 
Okay, that's doing something. Maybe switch you to 620? Man, if you're not paying attention to what's happening in those scenes. Yeah, like, I couldn't shaft, play this. Like, I'm, it'd be too dumb to play this. I'd actually like it. Hmm. <laughs> like, I would just be like, what am I supposed to do? Are you serious? This isn't a game where you're meant to play through it multiple times. Although she did say 345. Uh, oh, I, okay, I get that. Like yeah, multiple different endings, a bunch of something. secret endings and shit. Hmm. Mark played the there original, like, when this game was, like, very, like, early on. Oh. It was really cool. And now it's fully released, oh. which I didn't even think it was going to get a full release. But, hey, people like Mark kind of... Mark and Jack kind of oh, help sales. Yeah. So, six... They revived it. Twenty on this? Nope. Uh, wait, I, is it ten fifty that I didn't do yet? I can't remember which ones I've done and which I haven't. I did 345, but I can't remember what I did in the first but one. It, that was 10. It wasn't 1050, 50. it was 2250. It was 2250, not 1050. Literally the same thing, the same but, thing, but uh, fuck off. Well, uh, Actually, no, it isn't even the same thing, because 1050 is a time that also that. exists on a 24-hour clock. So wait. you're wrong, Jack. Wait, what? How? Uh... That because you once you go from the 2400 and it goes back to 01, 02, 03, or four, all the way up through, and then it hits 1050 before it rolls over to 1300, 1400, and so on. Oh, I, I don't know what happened. Oh, this is. Yeah, no. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock. Crap, I didn't read it. Crap. Crap. Okay, so they all say 515 now, so I have to do it on this one. This is cool! Wait, are you the hour or the... I'm assuming you're the hour. Chronomancer. Safe, 826. Oops. As in you? Is there another safe that I didn't see? H two six. Okay. Maybe it's for later, but just in case. Oh, the music's so creepy. Because yours is a padlock. You're a word. A four-letter word. It seems like maybe it'll become a safe later. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, 826. Eight two, unless... On you. Sure, I'll be right back. Yep.
Okay, I forgot the water again. Whatever. I guess. Just dumb time losses, that's all it is. Okay, let's just watch the tape. What's this one called? Everything rots. Hi, Ken. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, sandwich. Oh, I don't like that at all. It's because you're stupid. Oh, Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. Hmm. It's rotting meat from your know, dead parents. <laughs> you're right. It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? I think it's the rotting insides of Wooly's dead family. I think it's your vagina. You're right. I didn't know that. Exactly. You were right, Dempsey. Ew, I don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs>
Society. The knife or the poisonous berries on this bush. Probably the current economic climate. I don't think that was it. <laughs> yeah, no. He's not that fucking far and accurate, though. Dude. Imagine, like, that's different. correct. I'm just gonna keep guessing. Wouldn't it be nice if she could tell us? Mr. Jack, you're pissing her off. Stop. Dude, this is actually creepy. Wow. It was O.J. Simpson. What? Smacked. Um, yeah, everything rots. We're all dying from the moment we're born. Uh, ghosts. Why won't you answer my question? Uh, now why I don't you answer your question? You have to tell me. No. See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine. I don't think everything is fine here. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> is she coming in? You should have answered the question. You should answer the question, Jack. Jack. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I grew some end. What? Oh. There's a safe now. Oh, I'm done. In the kitchen. So that's the first tape again. That's cool. What happened? Oh, uh, like okay. he's using the Eight. fucking wrong key. <sighs> it's fine though. Six. I still saved ten seconds. I'm so smart and clever. Hit a pause button. Is that going you? Where does this go? Orange, blue, beige, potato. That's not a color. <laughs> I have no idea what these go into. Potato is moon. <laughs> Red, orange, blue, beige, potato, lilac. Uh. I don't know what else they could go into right now. Maybe. Can I watch the tape and then eject it? Oh, I can pause. Weird. What? I picked up okay. the water balloons. What? Bullshit. There's something I'm supposed Bruh. to pause. There I picked was those up. That said pause on it. And I'm Wooly. Today we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. Off. It's so dumb. Kind of Whatever. Um, How far did you have to go? A uh, couple a rooms, and a lot of them weren't uh, able to be skipped past, but it's 
fine. I lost a fair amount of time on this split anyway. So I'll probably be about even, evened out maybe, maybe a little time save. Pause on this and then hit that. Well, not anymore now that I missed that shot, whatever. I only lost like. I don't know if this does anything. 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah, 10 seconds. It's fine. Basically meaningless. Why are you telling me to pause? Oh! They changed! Should I go back into it? Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, I burned the house down! <laughs> Dude, that's so cool! I love the the interplay between that. Okay, I've got cheese. <clears throat> I have to make a meat pie. Um, 200 grams of potatoes, 300 grams of mushrooms. Oh, that's why I can get the mushrooms. Okay. I get potatoes, though. Mushroom. Got you. Um, speed oven to five twenty-five. Okay. And then for how long? Uh, fifty minutes. So, potato and meat. Potatoes. Potatoes are moon, I guess. Moon, moon. Okay, this is gonna make sense eventually. That's an apple. That does not help me. Maybe I just keep looking around. Surely potatoes will show themselves. Ooh, there are signs on things. It's like a pitchfork, which is pink. Okay, that doesn't help me now, but that is good to know for the future. Because I picked up a pot down here that had like the H symbol on it. Which I don't know what that one is. That's purple. Okay, so maybe there's a moon symbol somewhere? Hello? Moon symbol? Oh, fuck off. I went oh, back into moon. the room. Whatever. Can like I two grow seconds. a potato Cringe. in this? Oh! That makes a lot more sense. Kinda. Okay. Nice! Okay, so meat then must be the mousetrap. Oh, and I put the cheese in the mouse trap and it'll catch a mouse. And then that's our meat for the meat pie. Yeah! Oh, poor little guy. <laughs> oh. At least have a humane trap so I can cook him alive. Boom. Hey! Rodent recycling. I got... In your neighborhood. Boom! That's cool. It's like playing an escape room. But I'm Wooly. Hi there. Uh, I'm Amanda. Yeah, I'm this and I'm Wooly. Are we going to the butchers this time? Amanda, maybe some of our friends can come back to the neighborhood? That's great. I like <laughs> that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send oh, something Oh, now we're doing it differently. Are these all is? dead people then that you've erased from the neighborhood? I don't need to go there right now. Do you think this is funny? <laughs> Do you Just think this is funny? Store. Now, can you tell me where I need to go? <laughs> and Willie's like, don't do it. Don't do it. She, she's crazy, man. She's crazy. I've seen some things. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
I don't know what song this is. Uh, F A C A. F E Faka V. Maybe if I try that? I, I don't know. I don't even know if I got the notes right. I'm not a musical expert. Okay. There we go. I had it right. I just, for some reason, thought it was another F. I, I don't know music too well. All I know is that the gaps are spelled face, and then it's E, G, B, D, F, which is every good boy deserves food. <laughs> what? That's how I learned it in school. It's not so wrong. Well, in, our, in America, it's every good what boy deserves fudge. We didn't even learn anything Can about I music. This one now? Okay. I'll just play this one out there. Right card. Oh, something bad happened, right. I don't think she wants this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> Shh. Here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we could help her out. Are you sure that's right? I think it looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. So creepy. I want to get my friend a special treat. Huh. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Oh, I know. Let's get them some nice candy. Do you know where the candy store is? Let's let's confuse her more. They don't have any Let's confuse her more. That doesn't sound like a good idea, Look Jack. Which one sells candy? <sighs> Does this help? <laughs> It's weird how she like breaks the fourth wall and then has like complete control over her own universe. Great! What? Why did you do that? Whoa! Oh, I can't find the what candy the store. Hell? I didn't do it. I don't know where to go. Can you help me? <laughs> uh, candy or meat is candy to carnivores. Don't do wrong. Sorry. There's another record, 107.49. Did you get before 111? Uh, 110.30, so it was a 2 minute 41 second record. She genuinely seemed confused at one point, that she didn't know what was going on. 